Hi, topiramid is an anti-seizure medication that treats seizures and epilepsy and also has many other uses, most commonly is migraine headaches and many other conditions. It has lots of side effects, most commonly is cognitive side effects and memory impairment and it is not safe in pregnancy. Let's talk about topiramid in details today and answer the most common 10 questions that you need to know. And at the end of the video, I'll give you the best scenarios and patients that to pyramid will be a good choice for them. First question is what types of epilepsy to pyramid treats? To pyramid is considered a broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug. It can treat focal epilepsy and it can treat primary generalized epilepsy and generalized tonic-clonic seizures. It also can treat uh, pediatric epilepsies like lennox gusto syndrome and infantile spasm. And it is approved for children two years and older and the dosing is highly dependent on the condition that we are treating. What other conditions are treated by topiramate? Topiramate can treat so many different conditions, most commonly is migraine headache, and it is for prevention of migraine attacks, and it can decrease the frequency of migraine by at least 50%. It can also be used off-label for other headache syndromes such as cluster headache and SUNA, and it works great for alcohol use disorder. And because of the side effect of weight loss, it is often used for weight loss itself and it is combined with other medications. Also, it can be used for eating disorders such as binge eating and bulimia nervosa. And it is combined with other antipsychotic medications and is given as a mood stabilizer or for anti antipsychotic induced weight gain to kind of fight that and give some weight loss for the patients. But the effect plateaus with time and it is not very effective in fighting the weight gain that antipsychotics do. How does topiramate work and what is the mechanism of action? Topiramate works by blocking voltage dependent sodium channels. Also, it will enhance GABA at a non benzodiazepine site GABA A receptors. Also, it will antagonize NMDA glutamate receptors. So it works great. It will decrease the electricity from flowing. It will increase the inhibition of the brain at will decrease the excitation. So it works multiple different mechanisms which makes it a powerful anti-seizure drug. Also, it has many side effects because of all those targets that have been hit with this medicine. Also, it is a weak carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, which is an essential part of producing cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid that circulates inside the brain. How to dose topiramate? Dosing of topiramate is totally different based on the condition we are aiming to treat. The highest doses are used for epilepsy and in other conditions, conditions such as headache, the target dose is smaller, so as the other conditions like alcohol and other mood psychiatric disorders, usually the target dose is lower, but we can always push it higher if the efficacy is happening. For epilepsy with monotherapy, alone, we start with 25 milligram twice a day and we increase by 25 milligram twice a day until we reach the target dose, which is anywhere between 200 and 400 milligram in two divided doses. And if we are using the extended release versions such as Trocandy, XR or Quidexy, we can give one time uh, the dosing. And if it is given as an adjunct therapy, means add on to other medications that the patient is already taking, then we start usually at a low lower dose and titrate slower so that we can have more tolerability and less side effects because the patient is already in other medication that the chances of side effects are higher. And it is important to note that topiramate is partially cleared by the liver enzymes. And if we have liver enzyme inducing medications like phenytoin or carbamazepine, then it will be decreased by at, at least 30% and we should adjust the titration and give higher doses to reach the same treatment effect if it is combined with those medications. In elderly, they are more sensitive to medications and we start at a much lower doses, maybe 25 milligram once a day or even 12 and a half milligram once a day and increase much slower based on tolerability and seizure control. And for children, the treatment is weight-based, means that depends on the weight of the child we give the medicine. We we start by 0.5 half a milligram to one milligram per kilogram per day in two divided doses and we can increase slowly by 
half a milligram to one milligram uh, per kilogram uh, per day in two divided doses until we reach the target dose or we get uh, side effects and the maximum dose we can reach is 40 milligram per kilogram per day for migraine headache the dosing is different we start with 25 milligrams at night once a day and we can increase by 25 milligrams to like 25 twice a day and then 50, 25 50 and 50 50 and that will be the maximum dose of 100 milligram a day in two divided doses. Usually for headache, higher doses than 100 milligram uh, a day will not reveal a significant improvement in headache and will cause more side effects. And this same titration schedule we follow with other conditions like a psychiatric disorder for weight loss and for alcohol. In cases of renal issues, if the renal issue is mild, we will not change the dosing of topiramate. But if the renal function is moderately affected and the renal clearance or GFR is less than 70 then we decrease the topiramid dose because the clearance will be decreased so we decrease by about 50 percent and we know that in cases of dialysis hemodialysis will filter out the topiramid and in that case we know that topiramid gets filtered about 50 percent out after dialysis so we should always replace topiramid with an extra dose of 50 percent of the morning or night dose and that is given after dialysis so if somebody is taking 100 100 milligram twice a day after dialysis we give 50 milligram every time the dialysis happens in case of liver failure there is no need to adjust the medication but because the liver clears the topiramate we should always keep an eye on the toxicity and the major side effects what are the side effects of topiramate topiramate unfortunately has lots of side effects and they are affecting multiple systems at the beginning of the treatment it is expected to have tingling in the extremities hands and feet and that is benign and it will go away on its own as we are titrating the medicine and with time. Other common side effects include dizziness, drowsiness, fatigue, abdominal pain, diarrhea and nausea and memory impairment. It can cause weight loss and it is dose dependent meaning that the higher the dose the more weight loss it can happen and the weight loss happens because of decreased calorie intake and decreased appetite and the average weight loss shown in multiple studies ranging in between two and six kilograms and the weight loss happens in the first three months of the treatment and usually it plateaus with time and will not keep losing weight as you go on in the treatment. A common and bothersome side effect is the cognitive side effects and cognitive issues. You will have issues with word finding, you just cannot find the right word that you want to talk about, there is mental fogginess and slowness to respond and some concentration and memory issues and those are common in patients taking topiramate and it is dose dependent it means the higher the dose the more cognitive side effects you have and it can affect adult and children and it can even affect the children's performance in school and their uh, math and, and, and other grades because of the processing speed issues and the cognition overall and because of those side effects we have a nickname for Topamax which is Dopamax because of the doping effect and luckily those side effects are reversible which means that when you stop the medicine the side effects will go away and because of the effect on the carbonic anhydrase it can cause metabolic acidosis meaning increased acidity in the blood and this is useful to control seizures because seizures do not work very well in the acidic environment and that's how the ketogenic diet works and the metabolic acidosis will get exacerbated if you are taking other medications that can cause metabolic acidosis such as the anti-diabetic medication metformin so it is very important not to combine those two medications together and because of that it will change the acidity in the urine which makes uh, so, uh, calcium phosphate crystals to precipitate easier and that can lead to kidney stone. So it is advised to drink plenty of fluid if you are taking topiramate to decrease the chances of kidney stones happening. Also topiramate can cause uh, eye side effects and it can cause angle closure glaucoma and increase the pressure in the eye. And this can happen usually in the first month of the treatment and if it does not happen usually it does not happen later. Interestingly topiramate can decrease sweating and increase the temperature especially in children so it is very important to be aware of that and avoid overheating in those 
these hot summer days. It is important to note that it does have behavioral side effects like anxiety, depression, irritability, and mood issues, and it can cause suicidal ideation like any other anti-seizure medication. Obviously, there are much more side effects than we can even mention here, so you can review the package insert and enjoy all the big list. What to do if topiramate is not working for me? Well, anti-seizure medication can fail for multiple reasons. The most important that we did not push them high enough, maybe because we just did not go high or the side effects were on the way. And the other thing is that we did not give the medicine enough time to prove it is efficacy. So we should wait for at least three to six months to give it enough time to work for you. The other possibility is that you might be having what we call drug resistant epilepsy, which is the stubborn seizures that do not respond to medication. And it happens in about a quarter of the patients, about 25%. What are the interactions between topiramate and other medications? Because topiramate gets processed in the liver, other medications that induce the liver enzyme, such as the uh, carbamazepine and phenytoin, and phenobarbital, they both can cause effects on the topiramate and decrease its effect. And topiramate itself, it can cause uh, uh, the increase in the liver enzyme function, and it is an enzyme inducer, and in, especially in higher doses than 200 milligrams, and it does interact with oral contraceptive pills and make those pills ineffective or decrease their efficacy. So it is very important if you are taking topiramate to not rely on oral contraceptive pills and use more reliable contraceptive uh, methods such as the intrauterine device. Can I drive or drink alcohol with topiramate? Because topiramate at the beginning of the treatment can cause drowsiness and dizziness and sleepiness, it is advised to avoid driving until you get used to the medicine and those side effects go away. And it is overall advised not to drive if you are having seizures until about three to six months from the last seizure, depending on your state and local laws. In case of alcohol, you should avoid drinking alcohol if you are taking topiramate because it can interact with each other and they can cause more sedation and drowsiness. How to stop to pyramid if it's not working for me? Stopping anti-seizure medication should never be sudden because that can cause withdrawal seizures. So if you want to stop to pyramid, we should be under your doctor's supervision. It should be tapered off very slowly over one to two months. The only time we stop to pyramid suddenly is if we have an allergic reaction. Is to pyramid safe in pyramid and breastfeeding? We know that to pyramid is not safe safe in pregnancy and it can have a harmful effect on the baby such as small for gestational age the baby will be smaller in, in weight and it can cause cleft lip these are not common but they can happen for those side effects we should not give to pyramid for any pregnant woman for the headache treatment and we can make an exception for epilepsy if it is the only medicine that works for that patient because we are weighing risk and benefit at this time and it is important to know that during pregnancy the levels of to pyramid will decrease significantly in the second and third trimester, and we should always follow the medication levels of the pyramid during pregnancy and increase the doses as we go in pregnancy to avoid breakthrough seizures. For breastfeeding, we know that the pyramid gets excreted in the breast milk, and the baby can get exposed to the pyramid through the breast milk. Because breastfeeding is very valuable and very beneficial to the baby, especially for their brain and development, it is a discussion between the doctor and the patient about the risks and benefits of taking to pyramid during uh, breastfeeding. Now understanding all of these properties, these are the best scenarios to use to pyramid on. First is if somebody has seizure disorder and at the same time they have migraine headache, so we can treat both conditions with one pill. Also in some patients who have epilepsy and desire weight loss or they have issues with alcohol and they want to stop drinking alcohol and topiramate can be a good option to decrease the craving for alcohol and decrease withdrawal symptoms. And it is very important to avoid topiramate in any woman of childbearing age and if you are taking topiramate for migraine or epilepsy you should have a reliable birth control not oral contraceptive pills because we mentioned that it can be failure uh, because of topiramate and you should use a reliable method like AUD. And because of many side effects of topiramate, we have a much cleaner medicine and less side effects and once a day medication, the same mechanism like topiramate, but less side effects and less interaction, which is zonisamide, that can be much better choice for some patients. And to learn all about zonisamide, you can see this video about this newer medication and stay healthy and see you in the next one. Salam.